Morning. <clears throat> All Ireland quarter final morning. So, and if my throat sounds really croaky, it's because I was at a wedding in Monaghan last night. And um, congratulations, Jared and Sean Oak. A brilliant day. I um, hope you have a brilliant night tonight. And uh, Don and a wonderful honeymoon. And we'll see you when you're back. Yeah, so I was at a wedding last night in Monaghan. Um, I don't drink, so no hangover. Just four hours sleep. And loads of shouting and, and dancing has completely wrecked me. But um, speaking to, I met, a, I met a new friend, Postman Kev from Scottstown uh, in Monaghan there. He sat at our table and I must have chatted to him about sports for about four hours. And thankfully he's into his sport, so I uh, didn't bore him. But he was talking loads about uh, Monaghan GAA, Scottstown GAA and different things. And so he's off down to the match today, going to try and get him on the video at some point. <laughs> Uh, really, really good chat with him. And what was interesting, he's married to a girl from Tyrone. Um, so she's actually a cousin of, of the Kavanagh brothers. Um, and he was all happy enough. He's they're playing Dublin. He's whatever. But the Tyrone people that were there, there last night, and it was largely populated by Tyrone people. And then uh, that I was talking to were not confident about today's match, of course, which is Armagh v Tyrone <laughs> at four o'clock in Croke Park. I think everyone's looking forward to that. That's, that's a fan of GAA, I can't wait to see what happens there. <clears throat> can't call it myself. Um, no idea really what's gonna happen. Re Tyrone should beat Armagh like on paper and being also champions. And but Tyrone have had, and this has been said before in other um sports shows or radio shows that Tyrone have had like an 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 easy route. Not in terms of the teams like they've played Donegal, which shouldn't have been easy, but they made that easy. They made it life easy against Down for themselves. It was a very comfortable win, obviously, and also final. Derry as well there was no bother. So the, they've cantered through, whereas Armagh have been up against it, um, and have battled and battled and battled. And there have got momentum, so there is that element that Tyrone could be caught cold here. I think it'll be a tight game. I can't call it at the minute. I probably will closer to the time. I have a an idea in my head who I think will go for it. So I can't call that game. It's, it's I'm doing a Jimmy Red nap here and I'm sitting on the fence, but it's very tight. The game after, I'd love to see Monaghan win. <laughs> um, I'm down at, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I haven't seen Dublin in action, so I'm actually really looking forward to seeing that that operation <laughs> and what they're like. Um, we're hopefully going to get Carl on. Carl's been on the podcast before. He's 80's cousin. We're hopefully going to get Carl on the show. And Carl's family's Half his family's from Monaghan, so he doesn't seem to care either because he, he hopes obviously Dublin win by a comfortable margin. And he's threatened to throw cans and beers and bottles of beer at me because I'm in the nally stand. So that was lovely too. Like, but um, yeah, looking forward to that. Would love to see Monaghan do it. I think Monaghan deserve what what have happened to them and different things. It would be it would be lovely to see them even though they beat down. It'd be lovely to see them in the semi final and they were to beat Dublin. <clears throat> the championship's looking for a massive shock. It's had a few. Big ish shocks, if you like, whoa, but it, it really it's 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 crave night for a huge one, huge shock. So, um, we'll see what happens. I'm just running on air at the minute. Um, I think I'm just overexcited for being in Croke Park, um, for an Ireland quarter final. And Brent and Jake are coming with me as well, so they don't really know yet, but they're going to make appearances on the video, whether I like it or not. But yeah, this will be this, this is the little start of it, and hopefully. Two good games to talk about and a good day down in Dublin, so see you in a bit. Had his own. It's absolutely chucking it down as well. Friends beside me. Uh, Jake's down meeting a wee friend. But um, you confident yet, Brent? What's him confident? If you didn't hear him there because the speakers, he, he wouldn't say he's confident. Like I mean, he was confident enough this morning. Like, but we just spent uh, about three hours there with a throne family, which is a good laugh. So they're starting. Oh, my fingers in the way there. They're starting confident, but. 
Yeah, we're half an hour to kick off or so for the first game and it is chucking it down. I'll give you a wee update when the game starts. Half time in Brent's not happy. Jeeves not happy. In the Armagh Tyrone game, it's 1 8 to 4 to Tyrone. Arma have been uh, appalling, to be honest. We're not in quarter final. Not good enough. They'll need a big half. <laughs> a big half to claw that back. Um, just the, the whole. I don't know, the, is it nerves or whatever? But they just don't look like, They don't look like they did against Kildare uh, last week at all. It looks like a completely different team. Rory Grugan, especially in um, half forward, hasn't had a great half. Big half of men coming. The junior game's actually on now and it looks more competitive. But we'll see what happens. Big half coming up. Well, that did not go well for the arm I'm in. So it didn't. <laughs> Fuck. No, oh, cursed on my own video. Um, not a great day's football that year, wasn't it, to be honest? We've left I don't know. just before half time. Sorry, Brent. And um, in the Man and Dublin game to get home to beat the traffic. But, um,. That Tyrone Armagh game was not a great one to watch. Tyrone won, won very comfortably, but they're not like you're not a team you unless you're from Tyrone and people like and now this are from Tyrone, you wouldn't pay to go watch them. Yeah, that's all appetizing. Unless they're playing your own county, or as today like they're playing the lads' counties in the Northern Quarter Final. Um, and then Dublin against Monaghan. When we left there, Monaghan hadn't. Didn't show up. It was nine. What was it? Nine. Nine points to one. Nine one. Nine one. So disappointing day all around. But a day at Croke Park. Hopefully the semi-finals will maybe be a bit better. Um, and of course we have Mayo Ross coming on Monday. But it's bank holiday down here, not up in North, so will not make it. But um, Jake, what did you make of our mass performance? Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's he's in the back seat. He's not impressed. Um, not great for Armagh, but. You know, it's still a young side, so you just didn't expect them to get to the quarterfinals of the All Ireland series this year, like nobody did. No. So build on it next year, just like what I said for Down last week, to build on it and go again next year, and we'll see what happens. But I'll do a little finish up vlog when we finally get back home to Border Down. I'll see you later. Good luck.